today we're going to do a penetration in a terracotta tile. Now the first thing I'd like to point out is that I'm wearing jeans. Why the hell would I be wearing jeans on a hot day like today? They're hot and they're uncomfortable. I'll tell you why. Because I don't know what the uh, tile battens are like in this place. If, I've, if I'm not completely comfortable with the tile battens, they may give way underneath me. Now, if I'm walking on a roof or on a tile, and I inadvertently step on the middle of a tile, the tile breaks, my foot goes through it, and I plummet into the ceiling space, I don't want that tile ripping my leg open, thank you very much. I realise that the jeans are not going to provide me very much protection, but I'd rather some protection than no protection. Okay, the next thing I'll talk about when it comes to walking on a roof like this, this is a fairly steep pitch. I wouldn't want to do it on a wet roof. The other thing is I don't really want to walk in the middle of the tiles like this. This is a hazardous process. Don't follow my example. Try and walk on the edges because the edges are supported by tile battens. Also try and keep a whole foot on the tile so that your weight is spread over the whole tile space. Walking on your toes or your heels can be seriously problematic. Now, that a lot of people break tiles when they're walking on roofs. I have broken some, but I tend to not break many. And the reason for that is I'm a skinny bastard. The easiest way to not break tiles is don't be fat. I would never try and do a roof penetration without something like a deck tight. Yeah. So we're going to put that right in the middle. The reason we're going to put it in the middle of the tile is because when water is running down the roof, it needs to find a path. The water will run in the low channel. If I mount this across the low channel, then the water pools in that space and it's more likely to leak. So I want to provide the best possible path around this to allow water to pass. So we're going to drill straight through the middle. My personal favourite method of getting through the middle of these is to use a diamond encrusted drill and you go, oh diamond encrusted, that might be expensive. 16 bucks on eBay buys you about 16 of the bastards, they are cheap as. So we have a nice tight fitting around the conduit. We'll shape our deck tight to suit. We're going to use this, um, I'm not sure what this material is around here, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to shape this to the shape of our tile. So as you can see the water will be running down the outside and the point that is the highest is the point that's least likely to, to leak. So we'll just shape that and then we're going to set it. Now I'm drilling these holes with just an ordinary cordless. I haven't got it on hammer because I don't want to punish these tiles. If I use hammer I'll bust the back out of the tile and reduce the amount of space that I've got to support my fixing. So we'll just keep drilling. I didn't hammer those plugs all the way in because I didn't want to hit the tile with a hammer. The tile's only uh, about 10 millimeters thick, so there's no point hammering them in any further than I did anyway. A lot of people make the mistake of doing the celastic after they've put the deck tight down. That not only looks messy, it's ineffective. A far better way to do it is to put the celastic down 
before the deck tight goes down. So follow out your path. Notice I'm going all the way around the um, the screw holes so that the screw holes are protected from both sides. And this stuff that I'm using is sure minute, sure grip 30 minute. Seriously, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference what you use. Almost all products will do the job. It's going to be protected from UV anyway because it's underneath the deck tie. As you can see, that's quite tight in there. And in theory, it shouldn't need any elastic around here anyway. But we'll test it and then we'll decide whether we want to put some there. I wouldn't normally water test this because I know that it's going to be watertight. We might put the camera in underneath and um, spray it with water. I'm going to get my able assistant Jamie to <laughs> to hose this area to see whether it's waterproof or not. probably thinking ah hose big deal you know um, when there's a storm and there's wind blowing in all directions it's going to be a different story well cop this motherfuckers now I did this exercise just to demonstrate the penetration I actually don't need it in my roof but uh, I have a spare tile, so I might as well show you the process of changing a tile. Pick up the tile just above here, and then we can uh, grab this one and slip that out. Let's see how wet it got underneath. Beautiful, bone dry. Slip our new tile back in. <laughs> 